The best compliment I ever received came from my earth sciences professor when I went to talk to him about law school applications. And he said, Erica, I think you're wasting your time. And I think you're wasting your talents because you need to get a PhD in hydrology. And I don't want to dig wells for the rest of my life. So I told him, Dr. Anderson, I really think I need to go to law school. And so I struck a compromise and I went to law school to study environmental law. I had it all. I had just graduated from Furman University. I was recruitment chair of my sorority. I had a great boyfriend I'd been with for four years. He loved me so much. I had so many friends. I was a varsity cheerleader. And then I got to law school and everything fell apart. I applied for on-campus interview jobs for my first year summer and I got nothing. I got no offers at all. Top 10 law school, no offers. My four-year relationship with that boyfriend ended. One day it was perfect, the next day it was over. And that's how I ended up finding my passion when I was at rock bottom. It had been about a year I had been living in this horrible state. Um, I had my first bout of eating disorder. I was no longer interested in doing any of the things I ever wanted to do. I stopped going to the gym and I'm actually a state record holder in the women's bicep curls. So stop stopping going to the gym is a very big deal for me. Um, and one day I was sitting in bed and I was scrolling through my Facebook news feed and I saw this article about this guy I went to high school with and I noticed that he had actually been recently convicted of second degree murder and sentenced to 30 years in state prison in South Carolina, which is not where you wanna be in state prison. Um, I had never done anything with criminal law before. I had no knowledge in the subject area, but I really wanted to help this guy. After reading the story and seeing that this conviction arose from a six on two nightclub 